My name is Charles Wildbank. That's Wildbank, that's my sign name. And I'm an artist. And um, I can sign, I speak English, and some other language like Spanish, whatever, but I try. This is my story. I think I started painting um, when I was like about five, but it started with crayons and you know, coloring books. I did not know that I was an artist then, but as I got older, my art and my drawing got better. When I was young, like about two and a half years old, um, I was you know, suddenly taken to uh, this place here at Millinock Manor. I didn't know what was going on, so I went along with it. I met my first teacher, and uh, she sat me down, and I had to copy her voice back and forth. She would point out a picture of a, of a mouth that I had to do, so I would look at the picture and do the mouth movement, like A-E-I-O-U. And uh, she would say, good, if not right, uh, I would do it again and again. We would spend like a whole hour. And that's pretty long for a baby like me that time. And, and man, that was wonderful for me. Uh, I went here for five years, about. And then I went to a, a regular school, the uh, mainstream. And that was very difficult. And I learned. I learned from meeting uh, other peers. Everyone helped me, uh, they fixed my, correct my speech, and I would learn words, and by the time I was eight years old, I started speaking sentences. When I think about coming back here, Melanick Manor. I remember children running all over through the stairs around the building, playing, playing tag and signing, talking, learning. We'd go outside and play, and in the winter we'd go uh, like on a toboggan down the hill, as far as you could go. All these memories, they come back all at once. And there's so much appreciation when you think of it. Now I understand why they were trying to teach me how to pronounce words and all that. It's all come together to what I am today. I, this, the place is like home to me. I thank you, Melina Commander, School for the Deaf, for everything, for what I am and what I can do. Thank you.